my headset screwed up, or is everybody just that quiet? Everyone's quiet. <laughs> Here, I want to get something to drink first. Yeah, whenever you're ready, Mike. Oh, yeah. Okay, go go ahead, Fupa. Floor, floor is yours. All right. Get your drinks, gentlemen. All right, Operation Coda. It is the uh, conclusion of our Persian Gulf campaign. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming. So the current situation, uh, we've obtained positive location on the terrorist leader Abu al-Tunisi. Uh, Al-Tunisi has been the mastermind behind all the counter-assaults against the 332 uh, and its allies. Uh, this morning at 0530, special forces have raided the compound, uh, and they have requested an extract with the HVT Al-Tunisi. Uh, our goal tonight is to provide uh, air-to-ground and air-to-air support to support the extract of the HVT and the special forces team. So the mission intent... Uh, ensure the two black box, codenamed Casper, make it back to CBN 71 uh, with the high value target and special forces team. Uh, we're going to suppress the SAM sites to allow CAP in the area uh, of the HVT compound. We're going to destroy the HVT compound and we're going to destroy all inbound military threats, both on the air and in the or in the air and on the ground. Uh, once they heard about the uh, the raid that we product, or conducted this morning, um, the entire city is coming down on that compound. So it's definitely going to be a little tougher mission. Uh, asset overview, we got our fast and slow KC-135s, uh, the MPRS and 130 uh, for the uh, Hornets uh, and the Harriers. Uh, one AWACS tonight. Join this. Uh, what's that, buddy? Uh, it's up to you, dear. Uh, Help slight. Uh, and then we've got uh, CBN-75, which is the only boat we're using tonight, as CBN-71 is going to be for Casper. Uh, and then we have uh, LHA-1 for the Harriers. Forecast, uh, takeoff time is 0600, temperature 20, 20, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, wind very light tonight, or this morning. Uh, turbulence, very light as well. Uh, clouds, overcast, light with ceiling of about 10,000. All right, submission so details. Alpha package is staying one and two. This is our seed package. Um, as you see here on the map, the first black dots are our IP points. Uh, we're all going to pretty much hold here at the tankers. Staying one and two are going to provide seed uh, in the black area here around the military compound that they've raided. Uh, we have Intel and six uh, SA6s and SA11s. Uh, Intel reported about four to six SAM sites uh, all around this compound here. Uh, after Sting 1 and 2 are done, if they do have any air-to-air -air and uh, assistance is needed from the CAP flights, uh, we'd uh, really appreciate it if you could assist that. Uh, and then search and destroy on any um, and all military assets on the ground. Um, once the seat is complete, we expect a lot of BTRs and T-72s as long as tech or along with technicals coming into the uh, compound. Bravo package, Viper 1, 2, 3, Sting 3, Sting 4. This is our CAP package. Uh, Viper 1, 2, and 3, you're going to provide coverage uh, to the west and to the north of the compound once seed is complete. Uh, Sting 3 and 4, you're taking off from 75 uh, over to the uh, southeast, and you're going to provide coverage to the east and the north as well. Um, expect heavy resistance. Um, it wouldn't be a, a fun finale if we didn't make it a little tough. Uh, wait for the seed package before you fly over the compound, which is waypoint 2 for everybody. Uh, and afterwards, if the air is clear, assist with search and destroy on any and all military assets on the ground. Charlie package is our strike package. Hog 1, 2, and 3, Springfield, and Uzi. Uzi, your goal tonight is to destroy triple A sites located close proximity to waypoint 2. Uh, these are ZU-23 dug-in triple A sites. Uh, Jester should have a, a pretty good time finding those for you. Um, Uzi, uh, we're going to have you assist with CAP after, if necessary. Um, so coordinate with the other Sting flights and Viper if need be. Um, we're going to have Uzi also. We had a last minute change. We had some more members join. We're going to have them assist with the destruction of the compound. Um, so Springfield's uh, mission tonight is to destroy the compound itself and then assist with inbound uh, ground targets. And then Uzi is going to assist with uh, wiping that compound out as well. Um, the hogs tonight are going to be on a convoy hunt. There's convoys and vehicles coming in from every direction into waypoint two. Our goal is to destroy as many as possible. Uh, again, make sure you don't get out of uh, or too far away from IP1 um, until seed is complete. Some of the ground assets that we expect to find tonight, BTR 80s, 72s, uh, technicals, um, and SA 11s and 6s. Uh, some miscellaneous information. Uh, there's 10 members of Special Forces 
and one high value target along with two Blackhawks. Now these Blackhawks will land and pick up these special forces in the high value target and extract. Mission time is 0600 and uh, estimated time on target for the extraction is about 0650. So that gives us about 50 minutes uh, before the uh, Casper flight is on the ground. Um, so depending on how quick you get up in the air, consider refueling after AO operations. So scheme of maneuver, we're gonna take off. Uh, Sting one and two are gonna deliver the seed package. Um, and then we're gonna have Uzi move in shortly after and wipe out the triple A sites located around waypoint two. Um, the entire time we're providing cap, um, just really watch your uh, where you're at until seed is complete. Um, ensure Casper is successful and then uh, destroy all assets inbound to the compound, both on ground and in the air. Uh, refuel if need be on the way back. Um, and all flights are either back to Almanad or CVN 75. It's totally up to you what you guys want to do tonight. Uh, some satellite intel. This is the compound itself. Um, it's actually on fire as we speak from the uh, raid. Um, so it should okay. be pretty easy to find. Uh, the extraction's just to the east of this. North is just off to the top right here. Um, again, it'll be about 0650. And we expect them to land and pick up the HVT. Support information, all pretty standard tonight. Remember, uh, all Navy planes, uh, CBN 75 is the only one we're using. The 71 is dedicated to the uh, Casper flight. Uh, mission communication, pretty standard. Uh, mission control, 140 decimal zero. Uh, Alpha will be 140 decimal one. Bravo, 140 decimal two. And Charlie's 23. Uh, Michael, we talked today, uh, it was squared a little bit, uh, as far as seed complete, should we all just, or at least flight leads be on 140 decimal zero until we get the all clear on seed? Yeah, that's probably the best way to propagate that message. Okay. All right, success criteria, protect Casper package, uh, destroy the compound, and destroy any inbound military assets, and obviously have fun as always. So, any questions? Uh, should the Sting Cat flight be carrying any bombs at all or just amrams so you're gonna have a lot to deal with up there um but the goal tonight is to, to come home empty uh, it's the finale so everybody should have a lot of fun so if you want to do gun runs if cap is clear or if you're able to throw a maverick rack on it whatever you guys want to do there's a lot of you tonight but you're gonna have a lot of enemies up there too so that's totally up to you if you want to throw something on the belly um okay. it's totally up to you but yeah if, if it's all clear you're more than welcome to assist with ground targets Okay. And uh, should the cat flight just continue north past waypoint one, or should it move closer towards waypoint two? I would just maintain situational awareness, really. Uh, it's two's going to be hot until those SAMs are down. I wouldn't get too close. Sixes and 11s got pretty good range. Um, one's definitely a safe space. Um, and as you saw to the, to the west and the east of compound two, if we go back to the map here. Uh, so this black area is pretty much the danger zone. So if you were to stay a little bit north, east, and northwest, you should be pretty safe. Um, but just just really be careful of this area until seat's complete. Copy. Thank you. In that same regard for the Sting 1 and Sting 2, um, what do you think is the b bigger priority, cap support or ground targets after we take out the SAMs? That's something you're going to have to coordinate with the other cap flights. Um, if they were able to handle it pretty well, then you're more than well like uh, welcome to come down and help us on the ground. Uh, but if it's still pretty hot up there, then um, I would assist with that. All right, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what we should do from a loadout perspective. Yeah, that's definitely a secondary priority, so um, that's totally up to you. If you want to have a couple guys throw 120s on and a couple guys throw Mavericks or whatever you want to do, just to divvy it up. Sounds good. And then what's the distance um, to all the way to Waypoint 2? So for Roughly. you guys, it's about 100 miles. Copy. Uh, from Almanad, it's about 140 miles. All right. Thank Anyone you. else? Yeah, no problem. Damn. It's hard. What's that, Mad Dog? I yawned. I'm sorry if I, like, <clears throat> nothing. All good. Sorry. All right. Anyone else? Questions? Will there be pizza afterwards? <laughs> BYOP. <laughs> Only if you live. <laughs> BYOP, yeah. My mom's got the orange slices for the RTB. Oh, shit. All right, guys.
All right, cool. Uh, yeah, we'll boot. Th Hey. What's good? <laughs> All right. Viking Veritas. Man, we got some new faces we ain't seen yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I see that. I just ain't never seen him. All right, Not bad. Here. I'm the ghost of 480. <laughs> Steal my shit. <laughs> uh, cool question. Integrity check is going to be totally off of the server, right? I don't need to worry about any weird mods I'm running. It is on? Okay. Alright, let me turn some of this stuff off then. Make it, we'll see. I think they said something about being on 140 until we get the all clear from the seed package. Oh, okay, okay. Probably not. I'm probably not going to be able to make it on. I've got to fucking take care of the kid right now.
What about the F-18s? Are they free game? Yes. Every day. Just making sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, in the middle of this, I might have to go for like two minutes. Is that going to be all right? Like, just throw it on autopilot. And, yeah. <clears throat> Um, another question. Uh, is setting balls are the same as just barking in a uh, steer point? Lists. Balls. All right, what this what so once I have a bullseye enabled, what distance? <laughs> well, I have bullseye enabled, something popped up. Well, it has bullseye underneath, it says 25. Got it. <laughs> Uh, one four, I got you five by five. <laughs> My DCS crashed. Yeah, that's no point, no. As is tradition for all of us. Now, going back to the uh, ECM pod, aren't ECM pods bugged right now? Yeah, no, probably they're bugged. Ah, uh, that's what I've been hearing. Like they're apparently bugged. Uh, yeah, I'm blind and I didn't. I don't remember. Is it uh, four 120s and two AM9Xs? Sorry, four and two.
Crashed again. All right, Viper 1 2 is green. A hey, Spectre, how long do we take off, you think, before we start moving? All right. All right. Because uh, right. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Just to double we check. Go. Viper 2 is going to be 3161. Okay, so nobody must be on comms yet, then. Uh, I think half of us are still starting up. Fair enough. Who are probably going to be waiting for uh, all the F-18s to get off the fucking deck. <coughs> I mean, shit. They have... Is even if I'm using all four catapults, it'll still probably take them a minute at least. I'm not gonna lie, there was two times I diverted because I didn't feel like trying to land around the 18s. Mm. Yeah, they're moving to the they're moving to the catapults though. Yeah, they can take it. They'll be fine. Wait a second. That was Why is my bullet showing up? Feet. My bullseye does not show up at the compound. Or is it not set? Yeah. Bullseye is just a reference point that we all share. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's where we're doing our cap. And I crashed again. All right, I'm after in a repair. So, when do you tell Spectre about that? Okay. Uh, hey, bit, are you on comms yet?
Uh, someone's not making on 316. That was you on my phone, I think. Viper 1 4 is back. Sorry about that. 3's got you. 4's got you. 2's got you. How do you set tail number? What do you guys do for that? Uh, one, two is green. Three is green. Four is green. Almihad traffic, Uzi 11, Uzi flight of 3F14, taxiing to runway 27, Almihad.
one two roll. Uzi one two, hold position. One two, hold position. One, one four roll. Clear to taxi to runway two seven. One four, hold position. One two, 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 hold position. One four, 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 hold position. Pakistan is in the JF-17's north. 1-2, hold position. Uzi, 1-4, hold position. 
You know, being based in New Delhi, you might have problems with that. You, you know, our, our, our call center, uh, you know. So Bindu would not be happy. One four, call position. One four, call position. One four, call position. One four, call position. Love the sound of Tom Chow. One four, call position. One four, call position. One four, call position. Are those complete crews or just pilots? One four, call position. One two, call position. One two, call position. One four, number two one is wrong. Position. Still pretty good turnout. Well. One four, call position. 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 No, I'm here. <coughs> I'm here, traffic. Easy one, one zero. Hey, uh, having a moment here. Seven, I'll just have that call. Switch it to one four zero. What is the uh, roller call that changes our scan elevation? So, TWS dial or something? Call position. One four, call position. Uh, the dial to change our radar like height, uh, what's it technically called? Because it got out of bounds for some reason. Got it. Call position. One two, call position. One two, call position. One two, call position. What, uh, Antel? A and T L stop, I assume. One two, call position. One three, call position. One three, call position. One four, call position. One four, call position. Uh, just give me, uh, what, we go five seconds, ten seconds? Back to you, check in, I see one of you, I see one sitting back at the, uh, tank is on SF. Everything good? One, four, call position. One, four, call position. One, four, call position. Break, break. 
I have uh, AWACS on 253.2. Yeah, I'm not sure where that is. We may have to engage if we need to be. Copy. Watch your distance from waypoint one. Distance from waypoint one is 16 miles. Alright, last. You want us to split up our uh, altitudes and the radars?
flight, be advised, Sting 3 is passing waypoint 1, continuing north. Sting 1, copy. It is, but it'd be decent possibility that those bandits may be Red Reese. 4, fence 10, 10.4. 2, fence 12.3. So, close to your discretion. Pop up group pulls 329 for 162. I'm guessing that's going to be uh, fighters. Um, they're at Mach point eight, Angels five. One forty radio check, Viper two. Another group of pop-up bandits. Uh, Bra looks to be about uh, 010 for 120 miles at Angels 8. Have y'all covered by about 20 miles per hour. So. Just be as uh, you know, sea flight, keep an eye on those bands to our uh, west. Those will be the ones we'll have a hard time getting to due to fans. Uh, say again for a second. Is, but it's a long time since I've uh, done the arch deck in the Viper since we have the, uh, the tagging in the HSD now. I believe you're right there. Are you only on 64 Yankee then? Confirm. Yankee, no rain. Hey, what's this target? Shouldn't be too close now. 
I'm on 64 Yankee at the moment. I'll probably see if I was, uh, try back to 62. Let's go for the last motorcycle tape. Do you have my range now? on the other channel, by the way. Yep, I'll talk to him on there. I've got Bandit 33 Europe descending, currently Angels 10. Sting 33 Fox 3. That's what we're seeing. miles off the trail. Who's he one one? Go ahead. Second in the group, Angels five, probable two ship. Uh, bandit group, Angels five. Currently bearing 030, probable two ship. One one shack on SA eleven. Three and four are turning nose cold. We're heading back to steer point one for the moment. Uh, 
Copy, two is fenced in, twizzing, uh, contacts inside of 40 miles, currently Angel 8. Hey, be advised, AWACS calls, the only thing that they have that's not over 100 right now is that bandit at 8,000. Uh, Ben's it's flanking, uh, intermittent. Currently, uh, still heading east, Angel 7. Copy, uh, two still only showing one contact. Alright, I got two. Uh, you got left or right again? Copy, two's got right. Sniper, two. Calling out is, uh, Seed over. I'll find it to be advised there it is a enemy bandit uh, notching in between those same sites. He's right on top of me. Please, uh, to confirm crank right. Viper 1, 2, Fox 3, Bandit Angel 7. Two's coming off right. Viper 1, 2, Missiles Pitbull off right. Uh, two copies, I got visual recommended. Copy two, scanning. Uh, what's Ben's current on the Angels? No visual. Currently, she's only showing single band at Angels 4. Second band that uh, did visual name. Viper 1. 
Sting 3, all flight. Flight 1 1, one be advised. Pop up band. Band. band, it's 120 out, closing 35,000 feet inbound. Three zero zero for 90 miles at Angels 34. Copy, Viper 2 is. Uh, second band appears stuff. to be damaged at 5,000. Number one, two, Fox three, low bandit. Roll it. Copy. Number one, two is off. Copy. Right. Fox 3 on the low band, he was at Angels 5, climbing through Angels 7 now. Yep, copy that. Uh, element 2's in on him. The high group or the low group? Copy. Alright, uh, two's got visual on targets. Uh, confirm left band that's also at 35,000. Yeah, be advised, the group on the left is a pair, group on the right is single. Copy, got two ships on the left. Copy. Uh, two. Uh, two is in loose trail. Yeah, we got, got a bogey, 6,000 below us, you must engage him, or leave him be, go for the guys further out. Uh, one four is having to go down and dirty in the mountains to catch this guy. All right, Lee, confirm you have bandit on the left. Copy. We see one seventy five miles from uh, IP. One two Fox three bandit different right. Right. All right, 
lead your band is defending. Copy, missile trumpet. Uh, nine seconds till impact. Lost visual on second bandit. I got him, he's a 24 call. Sniper 1 and Viper 2. Copy 2 is in left hand, get out there. Great separation, uh, lead your You guys want to get up front? Copy 3, I see you. You got the shot tape. Uh, 1 1 be advised. That is the uh, low band. It looks like an F4. Unable to get him. He ran into SAM coverage. Uh, this is uh, 1 3. I switched over this channel. I got 1 16 is hot on me. I'm trying to engage. Yes, I can fox now, I'm in range. Fox 3. Frank and right. You guys don't want to hold at the uh, IMB? Flash one, big twenty nine. Do you want Viper two to uh, hold a cap pattern at waypoint one? Uh, you said we're going back to the strip point. Thing to Hog 3, how is he looking? Mapper 2 copies. I'll fly C of I is still, but I say 11 is still active at waypoint 2. Currently showing single banded in middle 6, uh, 1 to 0. Copy. SA 11 is still active. Uh, bullseye is 332 for 72. Hog 1, my cops. Uh, he has fuel state 10.5, uh, 2 meters, 3 AMRAMs, 4 has fuel state 6.7, uh, 2 and 4.
Be advised, there is still one SA-11 on station and active. Flight be advised, uh, Sting 3 dash 3 dash 4 are proceeding to the tanker. 1 and 2 can remain on station for a while longer. Bandit Bulls 337 for Flight is uh, Winchester and pushing for the tanker. We got a couple uh, wounded birds. Strength field one. Get advised, strength field one is currently at six field one one. It's set to two hundred. Not sure why. Bit difficult to tank. One is holding uh, just south of initial point, waiting for CEO call. Uh, uh, two is currently at 7.3, one long stick, two short. Yeah, they're empty, but it's still going. Copy that, I'll pass it on. What uh, tank are we going for? Hey, they got Arco uh, 45 miles. Copy. Turning to Metro Visa. Copy, I got the tanker at 38 miles, uh, 150.
two, slide in one. Flies be advised, we did have one good effect on SA-11. Remaining targets unknown. Hot recaps. Correction, new picture, we do have another SA-11 that is now active. Thing one, Uzi one, one oh, what's our current status? He advised, uh, we did have one recent SA 11 launch. We have, uh, one. Uh, my dash door is still on station with arms, I believe. Uh, Uzi 1-1 one, one copy, it's Will Fett, I think. Marco, 1-1-1-1, one, 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 one. request rejoin. 1-1-3, one, one, Marco, 1-1, one, one. proceed to pre-contact. Allowed to proceed into the AO and the end. Are we a go signal for a strike? Strike is cleared anytime they want, just be advised uh, they're still an uh, active SA level. Remember to 
good observation. Uh, Uzi one's gonna wait till uh, Sting one gives us a call with what happens with their uh, last form, uh, last form. Be advised on flight, Sting one is negative effects on that SA-11, so we still have at least one active. Springfield 1 is making a run on compounds. We're going to bomb it. Ready, recontact. My game just crashed. Clear to be left. Who's that? Skip. Ah. Uh, so we're down to three. Uh, I was. Uh, Sting one one. Are you oh. guys with just contact? Don't know everybody's name yet. A firm. Here's we are heading off station. Narc TV towards Sting. Let's see one copy. Hog one one. Are you guys en route to the compound? Looks pretty smooth to me, but. Here's the one one. All hogs. Flights are up. Looking up. Point one. Waiting on your signal. Air firm hog one one. Uzi one one. Going to the compound. I'm just going to take this nice for me. This is Viper 2, uh, we lost one man, we are down to, uh, two birds in the air. Be advised, Sting 1, 2, and 3 are heading towards Mexico. Sting 1, 4 will stay on the station to support Cap.
copy. Uh, I got good shack on an SA-6, but uh, nothing on SA-11. Spotted armored vehicles on the compound, but no triple A's. Ready, recontact. 
I can resend uh, Mark if he didn't get uh, exact coordinates. It's, there's some launchers off to the left, and then it looks like there's a mobile radar launcher off to the right.
Sting 1 for Hogwarts. Sting 1, go ahead. Uh, two copies. Hey, We're just going to confirm line. any additional what? tasking needed. At this point, I don't believe so. We're mopping up here at this compound, and then we're going to RTB. D1 copies. We will RTB as well. Thank you for the coverage, gentlemen. Have a safe flight. You boys as well. Good flying with you. Sting 1 does still have some air to air ordnance if needed. Copy. Back to you, RTB. Yeah, 
Yeah, Hornets are fun to do see and sometimes Vipers are better equipped since we got the HTS. Airspace appears to be clear. Are you the last cap flight on station? So you can nod with 9-9 X-ray. Hog. Hog 1-1, one, one, Uzi 1-1 one, one is still overhead the compound. We still have about uh, one meeting. We'll stay overhead so you guys are clear of the your retreat. Hug one. I got you. I'm with you. I'm actually going to close it up a bit. That's it.
Viper 13 or 14. 14, sign in. Copy. We're just departing the tanker. Copy, I'll pray hold space. Got a ways to fly, we're still about 70 miles up.
Viper 1-3 on 118, decimal 55. Viper 1-4 on 118, decimal 55. Viper 2-4, 1-1-8-5-5 Viper 2-1, 1-1-8-5-5 Almanac traffic, Viper 1-3, flight 2, F-16, inbound on Almanac from the north, altitude 18.5 Distance, 38 miles Bumpy out here. Oh yeah, we'll 
definitely beat you. We're like right off the end of the airport. Uh, base runway 27, Almanac. 
Hyper 1 3 is on final, over 27. Uh, copy, we're behind your uh, last bird. Viper 1 4 final, runway 27, I'm not. Viper 1 2 turning base, runway 27. I'm about to head out, guys. That was a good flight. Thank you. 
I don't think you see her anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I got back up, but I couldn't do anything. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it turned into a bit of a shit show to say the least. Once you started crashing up, because we were sitting there for a hot minute figuring out, right, what are we doing? Who's in charge? Got real quiet in here. Yep. <laughs> what do I mean? Uh, uh, no, basically, after you crashed out, I basically, yeah, after, yeah, Spectre crashed out, I basically made the call to say, hey, send it up to figure out what's going on and figure out who's supposed, who's gonna, Take over the fight, and then it comes on. Oh, two, uh, two, three. You take control. It's like, oh, fun. And by the time that happened, we were. It was already. Viper one was already taking off. Yeah, I was two three. What? Oh. Oh. I thought that. I thought that you were a uh, two four. Okay, all right. That that that, that might have been my fault. <laughs> I had pure eBay internet tonight, and it was awful. EBay, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I got on the tank here, and, of course, we haven't hit the tank in three weeks, you know, in mission, so I was a little rusty either way, but then the tanker just teleport, like, left to right on me. I don't know if Steve Reeves still about. I got work in the morning, so I will see y'all. Yep. Me too. Yeah, like, I was stuffed on the boom, all greens, for, like, four, probably three, four minutes. And he never once contacted me. Oh jeez. Yeah, I was, I wasn't having a problem getting contact, but like while I was con, oh, while I had contact, like it was like rubber banding, just like a foot or two to the left and right. And I'm like, the stuttering was sketching me out. I'm like, it's gonna stutter in the wrong direction. I'm gonna hit the bottom of this plane. Yeah, no, that's what it was doing to me. But it would, I couldn't get contact because of it. The hefty amount. Hmm. Oh, I, it's great up. I didn't get to shoot a single missile, so. Me neither. Unfortunately, mostly because the game crashed. Hmm. Hey. 
I think this is the first mission where I didn't release any ordnance. Yep. The only thing that came off my jet were some tanks. <laughs> yeah, me too. I jettisoned my tanks and then I shot my AIM 120s and my AIM 9s into the ground. <laughs> I did something. I fired a few 120s in anger, but I don't think they any, any of them actually connected. Hmm. Some targets were real low, so they wound up in a notch pretty quickly, but. I don't think anything shot at me. I didn't get any sort of warnings or any. Not, I didn't even get spiked, I don't think. <laughs> you didn't even get shot out when you tried strafing that SA 11 down there. And I didn't see anything burning down there, so that, that site should have been live. Oh, maybe someone took out the search radar. That's what I thought I sent you the uh, the data link to, honestly, but I didn't I didn't take a real close look. I just saw the cluster. Damn. Hmm. I saw you hit one pretty good. I'm surprised it didn't blow up. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we're all watching them. Uh, I should message in his stream chat. There's about 20 people watching you right now. <laughs> Hello, F16 crew. Hello, my Good evening. Let things go, Veritas. It was a lot of flying and dropping tanks and absolutely nothing else. Oh, no. What, were you guys cap or... Yeah, we were a cap, but um, so we were we started as four. Then we lost our our flight lead. Then we, when we hit the IP, we lost another pilot. So then there was only two. And then finally, Specter Bit was gracious enough to be like, "Okay, you can go home now." Damn, that sucks. Uh, no bandits in your area, I take it. Nope, nothing. That's too bad. I was going to suicide run the SA-11, but then someone took care of it. I Yeah, I think they... Maybe we were off a little bit on our airspaces, because I think our group had like nine bandits or something like that. So, I don't know. Posted a couple of the screenshots I took so far. Well, I was watching John, but he just landed. Should still be one more, more up now. Hacker man. Hacker man is last to land. Definitely no pressure. I I boltered tonight. I saw that. That's what I said to Ping. I was like, Micah boltered. And I was, then I was like, no, nah, he's going around to help J, JD try it or something. No, I wish. Amateur. <laughs> so, yeah. I do pretty good unless I bolter. And if I bolter, it's like I'm going to bolter again. It just throws you off. throws me off. Yep. Uh. Oh, Hacker Man's looking like yeah. money right now. If I bolt him yeah, he's got it. it. It's just that first bolter, man. That just throws me off. I almost never miss, but if I do... <laughs> You're going to miss more than once, right? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. It just screws you all up. Gets in your head. Yeah, Mike, I was telling Mad Dog on one of our cruises. We had some Air Force colonel out there, and he was in the backseat of the 14, so they stuck one of our good pilots in, didn't want to give him a good show. 
And I bet he bolted five times that day trying to land. Just from nerves? I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> he, he come out of the cockpit. He was just a cussing and fuming and everything else. Yeah, Crushed damn around. it. Yeah, usually he was, you know, he was usually first pass. He usually had a, you know, he had a wire. Was there only one squadron um, per carrier, or were there multiple squadrons? Uh, two 14s. I'm trying to think. Two A6s. Three A7s. S3s. I think that's what we had. Plus, uh, I think we had three or four E2s. Oh my gosh, I love the A6. That is like, I, it's so ugly, but I think it's my favorite, one of my favorite planes just on looks alone. Yeah, it's, it's neat jet. It's kind of strange not seeing Winnie in the air tonight. Yeah. I think on the force stall we had roughly 70 jets on board. Oh, that's pretty good. Did that did you ever uh fly go off the catapult? Yeah, on a, a C2 cod. And also uh, one landing. Wow, that's got to be something.